Hello, in this episode, I'm going to share with you three thoughts on being a watchman from Ezekiel chapter 3, verses 16 through 21. Ezekiel chapter 3, verses 16 through 21 says, And at the end of seven days, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give them no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, in order to save his life, that wicked person shall die for his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked, and he does not turn from his wickedness, or from his wicked way, he shall die for his iniquity, but you will have delivered your soul. Again, if a righteous person turns from his righteousness and commits injustice, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because you have not warned him, he shall die for his sin, and his righteous deeds that he has done shall not be remembered. But his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the righteous person not to sin, and he does not sin, he shall surely live, because he took warning, and you will have delivered your soul. The call of God to Ezekiel is one that is a tad dramatic. Ezekiel is told by the Lord that he was going to be the watchman for Israel. And as the watchman for Israel, he is going to be shown things that are amazing. He's going to have to do things that are pretty weird. And all of this, the Lord explains to him early on in his ministry that he will be the watchman for Israel. And as such, he has a great responsibility that he must live up to. Here are three thoughts on being a watchman from Ezekiel chapter 3, verses 16 through 21. Thought number one, share the Lord's word. This is incumbent upon Ezekiel. He has to share the things that the Lord gives to him. He doesn't have a choice in this matter. The Lord is going to tell him what to do. And when he hears what the Lord says, it is his job to repeat it. It is his job to sound the alarm, as it were, for all the things that the Lord is doing. It's Ezekiel's responsibility to proclaim everything that the Lord says. We should listen to that and ask ourselves, what has the Lord told us in his word? Thought number two, share with the wicked. So as a part of being a watchman, the Lord tells him that if somebody is sinning, Ezekiel must tell them about it. He must tell them what's going on, that that person is defying God's law. There is a responsibility upon the watchman to proclaim what the Lord says, even to people who don't want to hear it and aren't interested in what the watchman is saying. That's really difficult, and it puts Ezekiel in an awkward position where he is going to be saying to the people in exile, that they should settle in, that they're going to be there for a while. While at the same time, there's other false prophets saying the exact opposite. They're saying, get ready to go back home. And Ezekiel is trying to warn them, Jerusalem will be destroyed. The temple will be gone. And because of that, they should settle in. It's going to be a long 70 years. Thought number three, share with the righteous. So it isn't just the wicked who need to hear the word of the Lord so that way they can repent, but also the righteous need to hear the word of the Lord so that way they can avoid sin when the temptations arise before them. So the watchman must both warn the wicked as well as the righteous to hear the word of the Lord, to know the Lord's expectation so that they might be obedient to him. When the word of the Lord gets proclaimed to you again and again and again, it becomes easier and easier to remain faithful to him because that voice is constantly at the ready. These three thoughts come to you from Ezekiel chapters 1 through 6. 
If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by joining the Facebook group, Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.